Last week, Ryan from Disney Pins Blog and Becca from Disney Kitty came up with a Disney Pin Tag 2.0. Ryan specifically tagged me in his video, so of course I'm not going to turn down an opportunity to talk about pins. The original Disney Pin Tag, which was started a couple of years ago by Sarah Sterling, was actually the second ever video that I filmed for this channel. I'll link it up here, but I don't know if I really recommend watching it. It's not the highest quality of video, but I do have all of my answers to the original Disney pin tag, but now I'm excited to answer all the questions to the Disney pin tag 2.0. First question is, when did you start collecting Disney pins? I started collecting pins back in 2003 on one of our family trips down to Walt Disney World. I was about 10 years old at the time, and ever since that trip, I always made sure to get a whole bunch of new pins on my trips down to Walt Disney World. I have a whole video called My Disney Pin Story where I talk a little bit more in depth about getting started into both pin collecting and pin trading. Since I've been collecting since 2003, but I really didn't even discover the whole trading world until like 2016. The second question in the tag are, what are your main Disney pin collections. Like most people, I of course have multiple main collections. My primary collection, which you can see in the background of most of my videos, are my Zootopia pins. I now am only missing a very small amount of Zootopia pins. Most of them are from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood, so I'm always on the lookout whenever new Zootopia pins come out, and also for the ones that I don't have. My next biggest primary collection would be Emperor's New Groove. Both the movie in general, and I also especially like Yzma pins, and it's even better if it's Yzma in her kitty cat form. Emperor's New Groove is definitely a very underappreciated movie, but I love all of the pins so much. And then if we're going to keep it at three, I'd say that my third primary collection is Splash Mountain pins, since Splash Mountain is my absolute favorite Walt Disney World attraction. Question number three in the tag is what side collections do you have? And I of course have quite the number of side collections. Another one of my collections that you can typically see in the background of my videos are my geology and earth science related pins. That's really just a side collection and not a main collection for me just because it's kind of difficult to find pins that fit into it. I also love to collect Tower of Terror pins, that's my second favorite attraction. I collect Wally pins. I wish I could make Wally a little bit more of a main collection, but I find they just don't make too many cool and interesting and accessible Wally pins. I also have a collection of Rescuers pins. I love the Rescuers. I mainly focus on the original movie with just a touch of the Rescuers Down Under. I have a side collection of Pandora World of Avatar pins, even though I have never actually been able to visit the land. I have a collection of sweets and snacks related pins. I love all the different foodie type of pins. And then I have a baby collection of Frozen and Lilo and Stitch. The fourth point in the tag is show us the oldest pin in your collection. So I'm going to go with a pin that is not year dated as my oldest, but is the one that I've had in my collection for the longest amount of time. And that is a Splash Mountain attraction pin that I got in 2003. That was the first time that I rode Splash Mountain, and ever since then I have been in love with the ride. Number five in the tag is show off your newest pin, whether it be a purchase or a trade. So the most recent piece of pin mail that I got was a purchase off of eBay, and it is this Wally and Eve cute little couples ring pin from a limited release reveal conceal mystery set a few years ago. And I really like the design of it. The background is this pretty pearlescent lilac. And even though the artwork was the same as the Valentine's Day pin for this year, the pin overall is pretty cool and unique. Question six is mystery pins, yay or nay? And if yay, what is your favorite mystery pin series? So to opening mystery pins, I say yay. I find that really fun, but I typically get mystery pins to use as traders, and I don't really collect many mystery pins. I'm much more like focused collections, and I don't tend to really collect series of pins. But I also find that a lot of mystery pins are typically among the worst quality that Disney produces. So given that if I had to choose a favorite mystery pin series, I might kind of cheat and just say all of the little mystery tins that are Hong Kong Disneyland exclusives. In general, Hong Kong really comes out with some of the nicest quality pins, and their mystery pins are always super large. They're typically shiny with some glittery accents. They have the really cute lollipop series. They have a relatively new popcorn and pretzel series. They had their eggs for Easter. They've had emoji pins. And so even though I don't necessarily collect all of them, I'd have to say that the mystery pins that come from Hong Kong are my favorite. The next question is, what is your ultimate grail pin? So I've been lucky over the course of the last year or so to actually find some of the grails that I've had on my list for a while, 
but the one pin that is still on my grill list, which I haven't gotten and I don't know if I'll ever be able to get now, is the Nick Wilde Pin Trader Delight. I talked about this pin in my Why Are Disney Pins So Expensive video, and I just don't know if this is a pin that the value is ever going to come down. I don't know if I'll ever somehow be able to acquire traders that would be good enough to get it, but that Nick Wilde PTD is the pin that I've still been on a hunt for since the day it's been released. Question eight is how many Disney pins do you currently own? According to my pin picks, I have around 500 pins. I tend to keep my pins pretty focused to the collections that I have, and I don't really keep too many trader pins on hand at a given time, since if I'm going to acquire pins, they typically go into my collection. So I love pretty much all 500 that I have. Next is what is your current favorite pin in your collection? So I have a number of like pretty special cool pins that I really love in my collection and that I've shown and talked about on this channel quite a bit, but there's one pin that I love so much and it's just an open edition pin. This was released a few years ago at Hong Kong Disneyland and it features Minnie and Mickey baking Mickey shaped macarons. I just love how absolutely beautiful this pin is. There are so many sparkly glitter accents. It has a whole rubberized 3D tray of the Mickey shaped macarons that Mickey's holding. And I just think this pin is so absolutely beautiful and I keep it as pretty much the centerpiece of my sweets and snacks collection. Even though this was just an open edition, it seems to be pretty rare. I don't really ever see it anywhere. And when I got this, I actually had to add this to pin picks myself but I just think this is an absolutely beautiful pin and it's for sure one of my favorites. Question number 10 is what is the weirdest or most unusual pin in your collection? So I think the weirdest pins in my collection would also be some food related pins that come from Hong Kong Disneyland. I got these guys pretty recently, I found them on eBay, and they just feature these really weird kind of like baby-ish Minnie and Mickeys. I don't even know how I would describe them, they're pretty weird looking, but they do also have like cute little freedy rubberized food on them, there's also tons of glitter, but these are like the kind of weirdest looking ones that I think I have. Then I'll also say maybe the most unusual pin in my collection, at least for my collections, is this red Pin Trader Delight. Uh, this is Fred in his superhero suit from Big Hero 6. I don't collect Big Hero 6, I don't have any other Big Hero 6 pins, but for some reason when this pin came out I just loved the design so much. It's also just such a nice detailed pin. I love the tower of ice cream that he has. So I mean this is just kind of weird because it doesn't really fit in with anything, but I really like it. The penultimate question is what is the best pin you've ever found on a cast member lanyard? So as I talked about in the beginning, I have been collecting pins for a decade and a half, but I have not been trading pins for very long. So I only have ever traded in the parks once, that was at my first trip to Disneyland last year, and I found that trading to be pretty slim pickings in terms of trading. If you've seen my um, most common fake Disney pins video, it's pretty much a lot of those pins on the board. But I went at the end of January and they did just have the most recent wave of Hidden Mickeys came out. So I found one of the new Haunted Mansion Hidden Mickeys on one of the pin boards. I was really excited because it was the only new Hidden Mickey that I had seen and one of the very few actual authentic pins that I found. So that was at least exciting to find a brand new Hidden Mickey pin out in the wild. And as of right now, Disneyland has still not come out with their Hidden Mickeys. They are out at Walt Disney World, but I'm going to Disneyland in July, so they better have those Hidden Mickeys out because I need all of the new awesome Emperor's New Groove Hidden Mickeys. The final question is, what is the rarest or hardest to find Disney pin in your collection? The rarest pin item in my collection would be this framed set that is right behind me. So this, this is a pin framed set that is from the Museum of Pintiquities pin event back in 2009. It was the annual Epcot pin event of that year. And so I have these pins because they really fit perfectly into my geology and earth science and anthropology pin collection. I've talked about the Mickey with a geode pin quite a bit. That is an LE 250 and that is probably one of the hardest to find pins that I have. I only purchased the frame set for this particular pin, but since I purchased the frame set on eBay, I have not seen this pin for sale or for trade anywhere. Half of them exist in other framed sets, so it is an extremely, extremely hard to find pin. But in terms of edition size wise, this completer pin that I have from this frame set is my rarest pin and it, it is an LE of 75. So these completer pins are only available in this whole frame set which is an LE of 75 and so overall this is the rarest pin item in my collection. But since that LE75 pin isn't too exciting, it's just an event pin, I did also want to share my next rarest pin, 
which is actually just an individual pin, and this is an old Disney Options pin, and it features Mickey on a lunar rover. I am very much a terrestrial geologist, I like to stay on Earth, but my department also very heavily focuses on planetary geology and scientific exploration, and so I thought this pin was really cool to have. And it's really awesome to have a pin that's only a limited edition of 100. So that has been all of the questions in the Disney pin tag 2.0. I'm going to include all the questions typed out in the description below if you would also like to do this tag. It'd be fun to see others make these videos and post them on YouTube, or as Becca and Ryan had also suggested, if you don't have a YouTube, you can also answer these questions on Instagram or another similar platform. So I, as always, enjoyed talking a little bit more about my pins, and thanks for watching!